Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Jay Sustain, joined with Maxwell Ferguson. What's going on, everybody? And we are Smoking with Strangers. Today is our practice day. We get together every Sunday and uh, practice and, and make the music happen. And uh, this, this Sunday, we wanted to get together and live stream with you guys. So Max is going to be moderating the comments. We decided to go live to Twitch uh, this time instead of Facebook Live, mainly because of copyright issues. Um, you know, we wanted to have the freedom to share stuff with you without having to worry about, you know, getting cut off or copyright. 
um, be it sharing one of our own songs or sharing some other track or remix that we're working on. Uh, I just turned the mic up a little bit. Hopefully y'all can hear it a little bit better. Um, turn on your audio and see if that's uh, make, make sure it's coming good. Um, so hopefully you'll follow us here on our Twitch account. Um, we're going to use this as often as we can to do live streams. Yeah, yep, good. sounds good. And uh, the underground music is there. So, oh, I had it. Yeah, cool. cool. <laughs> it's weird, the latency is like, or I mean, not the delay, but like the, the time it hits my computer is so much faster than it would on Facebook. Cool. Yeah. Either way, um, we're glad you guys are here. Obviously, Smoking with Strangers is a um, both production and live uh, um, performance uh, act. Um, we're a band, and, uh, and we're also a DJ duo as well. So Max and I are putting together a DJ set uh, so that if... We have an opportunity to play for that, but not um, bring the full band. We'll we'll be able to still do it. So um, yeah. Anyway, so here we are, smoking with strangers, live in our studio. We just uh, did our Sunday practice, and we worked on pretty much one song the entire time. It's a song called "Break," and uh, we'll share that with you here. Um, if y'all have any questions that you would like us to answer regarding um, anything that the band is doing. Or if you have any like Ableton Live questions that you want to, us to answer, we'll be happy to do that. Um, Ableton Live, for those people that don't know, is a digital audio workstation. It's where we make most of our music at. And uh, both Max and I are really darn good at it. So if you have any Ableton Live questions, we'll be happy to handle that for you. Let me pull up the um, Facebook and see if there's anybody chiming in. Are you? Which one are you looking at? No, it's streaming on Twitch, but I shared it on Facebook. So I'm just saying we could see if there's any comments popping up on that. Boop, 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 boop. Just on this post? Yeah. No, okay, cool. Just to share. I see one share. Okay, cool. Right on. Well, we're here. We're going to share um, this time with y'all and, um, and do some stuff. So the great thing about these live streams is even if people aren't like watching right now or asking questions, I feel like they can go back and, and watch it later. It's not really the end of the world if no one chimes in at, at the moment. I don't really know how to see comments on Twitch. Uh, open that you know, the, on the screen, the middle icon on the bottom. Or actually... Uh... Nope. Anyway, hopefully in the background you're here. Oh, here it is. Welcome to the chat room. Stream chat. Hi, chatters. Could I this this is... is... Huh? Could I this yeah. I'm just hit the flip the switch over there. It'll just turn... Just flip that switch. It'll just turn off. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> You'll figure it out. Yep, one switch, both fans. So right now in the background, you might be hearing some music. It is a cover that we did of Smoking, um, I'm sorry, of Stranger Things. And uh, it's um, Stranger Things theme song, the Smoking with Strangers uh, remix. Can you hear it in there real quietly? Cool. Yeah, it's just in there real quietly. We don't want to give that track away. That's just something special that uh, we did. Looks like we have a couple watchers right here, three people watching. So thank you if you're just tuning in. This is uh, Jay Sustain and Max Ferguson. We are Smoking With Strangers. We are just finishing up our Sunday uh, practice day. And um, we worked on one track today called Break, which is an original song for our album. Uh, we worked with cellist Dave Egger on this song. And, um, and Max did some cool updates on it today. And so we're gonna just take some time to answer questions um, talk about our new project and uh, and show and just show it to you really so um, right now without further ado let's just go ahead and switch over to the screen view and um, and uh, we can we can do that ba boom now we're in wow. screen view yeah look at that so I'm gonna hide this OBS so now pretty much what you guys can see is the screen this is what Max and I work in. This is Ableton Live. And um, let's just make sure the audio's right. Yep, audio's right. 
Um, this is a digital audio workstation called Ableton Live, and uh, this is where we do all of our work. Um, as you can see, it's kind of linear editing from side to side. And uh, you also have the other type of editing, horizontal view or whatever you want to call it, vertical view. Um, but um, we pretty much work in a timeline from, from left to right. Each one of these things is a different part um, or a different, different track, different audio track. So this track right here is um, called Break. And it was a song that I wrote just recently. Just one day I was feeling a certain kind of way. And I picked up a pen and paper and turned the microphone on and, and just started singing the words. Um, I actually sang the words to this before we were really done with the music. The music kind of came along afterwards, which is unique. I don't always write that way, but that's how I wrote this one. So I'm going to play the track for you um, so you can hear the music that we did without the vocals. And then we'll come back and revisit the vocals. What's this serum that's blanked out? Is that the vocoder uh. trigger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. This was blacked out, so... Alright, so we're just gonna play this for you. Double check that. So right here we've got a first little collection of strings that uh, I really enjoy. Let me solo that out really quick. Yeah. Got some hard panning on some of them. Uh, I tend to either have the lowest register and center that way you won't have like one only on the left and then the rest are high register on the right I mean I guess you could do that but it just kinda is a little funky so yeah just a, a really sweet element of this section <laughs> Edits. What's the quick key for fades? I don't know. I don't use use it that much. To be okay. Honest. I think it's F. What's going on, Mr. Big E? It's like twenty feet right now. Six feet. Yeah. Sweet, let me keep the track going.
so yeah, we were looking at the cellos. Um, this next section here is super sweet. We've been uh, blessed with a collection of rec recordings from Dave Egger. Let's get it. A little taste here. So yeah, very pretty. Um, went in today and added this low string to kind of make it a little more full. Without it, it sounded like this. And with it, just, I, I mean, I'm a bass guy, so it's perfect. So good. Yeah, let's hear. Oh, I kicked the thing. Kicked the microphone. I'm sure the listeners just got a big old boom. <laughs> yeah. Apologies in advance for. Apologies in advance for the boom that y'all are about to get. That was me kicking the mic. Should we uh, get some vocals in? Yeah. Here let's or? throw the vocals in there and um, just start kind of at the. Yeah. At like the purple right. thing at number nine. Yeah. About right there. So this is a track with vocals, and you guys are, you know, you're going to hear it before it comes out on our album. It'll probably change. Obviously, mixing and mastering will change, but uh, this, is, this is what it sounds like. Nothing I ever say or do is good enough for you. As if it were intended to be I'm not here for you The way you feel is not dependent on me It's you Hopefully you guys are digging that vocal. So the lead part um, is me, Jay Sustain. Uh, I wrote the lyrics and also the kind of the tune, the melody. And then the backing vocals are Taylor Stokes. She did two layers, kind of one low, like uh, pretty much the same lead as I did. And then she did a harmonized vocal. So solo it out and play it just the... Just hers or...? No, solo the whole group. Oh. And then just play that first phrase. So here's... Yeah, the Nothing I ever say or do is good enough for you. So it's really, it's really nice. You can hear Taylor, um, her harmony just really makes a difference in that. Um, it was kind of lethargic with just my voice in there. So uh, I felt like adding her made a huge difference. Um, yeah. And let's uh, let's look at the string section um, in the middle, like the big section back there. Yeah. So, like he said, we worked with um, Dave Egar. Dave is a world-renowned cellist. Um, we we mainly hired him to do one song for us, which was called "The Last Minute," and we'll we'll do a whole session about that uh, later on. But um, he had some time, and we asked him to you know consider this one as well. And he went through and made huge 
uh, amount of difference by adding these different cello layers and it definitely made the song pretty um, the original idea for this song was that it was kind of bipolar it was like um, really happy and pretty and everything was going good one moment and then the next moment everything just changed and got back to sticky mm. and kind of viper like yeah. and so um, that was the idea and I told him that when we talked on the phone like hey let's make the strings all pretty and lovely like you know a day in the park with your girlfriend and then the next day it's just not very good so that's that's kind of what this section is about so um, yeah let's play this we'll see. got to hear that really beautiful string section and uh, and then how it like just flips real quick and goes back into the the beat and the original um, rhythm and stuff like that I hope you're digging that track um, now this last little part was kind of an ad lib or a fill-in that I did um, the structure of this track is kind of weird because there is no chorus like it never gets to a, a sing-along chorusy spot but that's just the way this song is written so I'm okay with that and, and I'm happy with the the um, structure of it the way that it is um, but there is a, a section where, uh, which was Max's favorite section, he really liked it, where it basically was an ad lib, and I wanted to go back today and see what that ad lib sounded like that was, if it had a vocoder on it. Because Max, one of the things that he does is a vocal vocoding, and he does it live, and it usually sounds really good. And it also adds a, a really dope element um, to the live show. I always feel like that vocoder makes people like open oh, yeah. their, you know they they look like whoa what is that so we went through and uh, vocoded this ad lib section today and it sounds really cool let's listen to that So you can hear that part there with the vocoder. I was just telling him like it might be a little loud in the mix, but I mean that's what we do. We just we listen to these things hundreds and hundreds of times. Um, I will I will say that I, I think that most artists will agree that by the time a song is finished, they're pretty much also finished with it. Like you know they don't want to hear it any other ways. I know that when this song first started, I listened to it probably 60 times in my headphones just um, learning the vocals and learning the, the way that it was built and, and you know working around it. So I mean I've already heard it at least a hundred times and <laughs> probably Max has too. So as much as you guys are loving it the first few times you're hearing it, give it a hundred more times and you know you'll feel the same way that we feel about it now. At this point it's a technical journey where we're just trying to make it sound perfect. But uh, that last little part, basically, I wanted the vocoder to take over that little ad lib section because it just feels good. It makes people pay attention, and um, it just feels good in that section. All right, well, this seems to happen to me every time I go live. I have all these people that are like, well, I want to ask questions about Ableton. And then I go live, and nobody asks me any Ableton questions. So I'm here. We have an Ableton session open right now. If you have anything that you want to know about Ableton, both Max and I, uh, are really good at it and can tell you um, can tell you lots of things about it. You have anything you want to say about Ableton? Ah, uh, what's it like working on nine at my house and then ten at your house? Well, I will say that live ten has a couple elements of just being able to put fades on clips easier. There's some effects that have been updated that are a little smoother. Mm -hmm. uh, the visual. 
element has changed just a little bit so like fonts are a little bit clearer mm-hmm. but uh, i think it's mainly kind of like bug fixes and just some extra toys to play with yeah but no i'm loving it dude this i mean nine is perfect as well but yeah. it's just just a slight update in workflow right on um, but you, you want to you think we should play the track all the way through or is that too much well i mean we've like with vocals and everything have we gone through these strings here or these yeah. strings here yeah So with the, with the track. So yeah, another thing we worked on was the uh, bass line. Um, I was telling Jay earlier that uh, this kind of roll it does is pretty smooth. It's pretty swag. Yeah. It sounds like there's a hot rod inside of that. Yeah. Oh, it's a motorcycle. It's a motorcycle. Like, it was like, like whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, so we did that bass. Yeah. And uh, this track basically, I think we'll, I think we're going to release this as a single, right? And we'll have this version, maybe an instrumental or something like that. And mm. then, like, hopefully some dope ass remix, you know? And then, um, and then it'll, it'll also come out on the album because I, I think, I mean, as far as it stands now, we, we already have 12 original songs basically done. And uh, we could release an album tomorrow, but we really want it to be a journey, like an experience. We don't want to just put 12 random ass tracks out. We want them to be kind of like, oh, this one goes this way and that one goes that way. And, and, you know, because I feel like we have three or four different sounds, don't we? We've got like that kind of the same sound. Yeah. And, you um, know, it's like dance. And then we've got like a kind of old retro dance. Couple dimensions within smoking with strangers. Yeah, huh? some dimensions, and then this track, you know, break. It's just kind of, it's very chill, it's very lovely and and bipolar, like I had described it earlier, and um, you know, it's just got a cool thing going on. So we're gonna release this in in tears, a single, and then on an album. And uh, this is one of our tracks that we've been working on. It's called Break. So um, you feel like sharing the whole thing all the way through, with vocals and everything? Sure. All right, you guys are you guys are gonna hear this song for the first time as it is today, April fifth, uh, all the way through with vocals and cello and everything. And um, enjoy. Yeah, here's smoking with strangers. Break. Nothing I ever say or do is good enough for you. As if it were intended to be, I'm not here for you. Take from me, I'm 
What's up, Alex? How you doing? It's good to see you. What All right, it? here we are. Oh, it was like what's that music? <laughs> that was tripping me out. All right, hold on. All right, it's hard to do like multi screens at the same time. Why am I so red and you're so white? This is crazy. Are we like that in real life? What is our color? Am I red? For theme color. I'm red. Wow. How you doing? I'm Jay Sustain. This I'm is fully maxed. This is fully maxed, and um, we are smoking, smoking with, with strangers. strangers. We've never done that before. I swear to God. Cool. <laughs> um, thank you all for tuning into our live stream. We are quarantined, not necessarily together, but Max is bold enough to go out into the world and come to the Smoking with Strangers studio. And um, yeah, he had to sneak under barbed wire today. And run from some military dogs but he's here and he's helping me out making the music <clears throat> yeah uh, 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 yeah <laughs> he's like i don't know what to say so look we got this cool um where is it this what? this is a a lower third logo right we've been talking about logos we've been thinking about logos that like have maybe a stranger smoking and uh, I just I needed to make something real fast I didn't have any time so I just made this and it's kind of like an Atari like and uh, 
there it is. So, I mean, if you like the little SWS logo, let us know and we'll stick with that. Or we're going to keep looking for something else. I think that'd be dope to have a sticker, like a die cut sticker, mm. you know, all square. That's, yeah, like a custom shape. Yeah. So yeah, square, square cut. Anyway, if you're just tuning in right now, we're just um, talking a bunch of crap. But um, a it's moment, Chris. yeah, a moment ago, we actually like, uh, we just premiered one of our new tracks, uh, Break. So if you were tuned in before just now, you got to hear something that no one else has ever heard. Exclusive. Exclusive. And you probably got to hear it in a way that that is not going to be the album way. Like it'll be mastered and probably mixed differently in it and everything. Maybe even the most custom. So um, we decided that we're going to open up another track that we that we just started actually. I just started it about a week ago. I'm probably only eight measures into it, and um, we figured we'd just do it live right here on the on the internet with you guys. It's only fourth. Th- we've only been live for 30 minutes. Isn't that crazy? Life is great. Life is great. Uh, in all seriousness, I hope everyone is staying safe out there. Um, I, I read some good news today that New York saw its first decline uh, in numbers in 10 days. So that's a good thing. Hopefully tomorrow is the same trend and um, we'll be getting over this COVID crap in the next 30 days. I, I really hope so. Um, Smoking with Strangers has a lot in store for you guys. We we pulled it all together to do a live set um, in opening for Desert Dwellers, and that just got canceled just like that. Uh, I'm sorry, postponed. Just just right under our noses. I mean, just days away uh, before that event and, and the whole world shut down. So we have a lot in store for you guys. We really hope that um, our plans uh, for 2020 are able to happen because we, we have a lot. An album, three singles, couple live performances a DJ set we have a lot you ain't ready for it yeah I got mo- you ain't ready for it so uh, we're gonna open up a new thing and work on it together with you guys here if you have any questions about Ableton live or any other questions about the, the band or anything just just let us know I'm gonna switch over here to uh, the other version the screencast version sounds like my neighbors having a get-together <laughs> Somebody walking outside. Um, let's see. So what did I say it was called? For the uh, children? For the children. For the children. So, something going on outside. Next door. Yeah, here it is. Look at that. There's literally 16 measures. What? Oh, oh, I'm just there's like literally 16 measures of stuff. That's like nothing. That is beautiful. That's a brand new, and it was already pretty dope. I don't remember what it sounds like right now, but I remember that it sounded pretty dope. And um, there's our faces. We look like Jay and Silent Bob. I'm the fat one with the beard. Just need a trench coat. We have any comments or anything? Wow. Do I? Oh. Nobody? We just got Chris and Alex. Uh, hey Chris. Sure Hi Alex. I love got some you guys. Family watching as well. Love you guys. Looks like we have five people watching us live right now. The great thing about this uh, live thing is that you know later on it'll be there. Um, you know, so we don't have to worry about how many people are, are watching or are not watching right now. We can just think about the music and. Uh, Hi. Hi, Mr. Big E. Oh, I know who that is. That's Chris Erickson. That's my man, Chris. Chris has a painting. Uh, yeah, I introduced him to Preston, and uh, he's got some paintings. What's up, Chris, brother? Good to see you, man. Thanks for joining the stream, man. Thanks for joining the stream, and I hope uh, you enjoyed hearing that track. Um, we literally just showed off a track that's not even finished. Uh, we've never done that for anybody, and we just did it for you guys here on the stream. So, all right, let's, uh, let's switch over back to the thing and start a brand new song. All right. Here we go. So the, the title of this track is called For the Children. Um, it's probably not going to stay that. Uh, I don't know about you, producers, but I generally will make um, a file and then just title it some random file. Do you do the same, Max? It never ends up being the song name. It's just some random word. Yeah, yeah. So one of our tracks that's now called Dreamers used to be called Night Balls. 
<laughs> right? Yeah. And then um, also Break was called something else. Break was called Pulse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Break right. was called Pulse for the longest time because I started the song with this boop, 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 this little pulsing uh, keyboard. So it was called that for the longest time. Um, so let me just play the 16 measures of dopeness that we have already started, and then let's just work on the track together. Here we go. getting started really we're, dope we're, we're brewing some thoughts here as we listen and uh yeah why don't we uh dive right in yeah it's 110 beats per minute um you know it's not so much dance but like it definitely has a, a great freaking beat to it uh not to mention that little pulsing thing um bop, 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 bop. yeah you can see the pitch bend adds a lot Chris, we miss you too, brother. We really do. Um, we hope we hope May twentieth or whenever the new date is, May thirtieth, that they that they tell everybody that we're good to go back, man. Because God, I need it so bad. I need it so 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 bad. Yeah. I need to see some live bands and hang out. I need to pet one of the Artco kitties. I really need it. So here in Serum, we just got this big old pulse or this big old subby bass yeah feels really good actually um the first thing i heard was that the snare it's not really in the right key it's giving off a, a signature that's not really the same as what we're wait where is it Plus I think it is poly. No, it is. Oh. It's mono. No, it's just mono. Why, you want to poly it up? No, 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 no. I, I just thought that whenever it went do do, that they like yeah, played splits, with each other. Out. Yeah. It could just be an EQ thing. Yeah. With, so, um, yeah. <laughs> So just for some length, let's dude. This mouse is like I don't know what's going on, but it's like jumping all over. Probably need Do you a, have a wheel or a laser. No, nah, it's just a laser. Stupid laser. All right, just for the sake laser. of time, let's just um, let's duplicate that three times and just lay out four sections, and then we can decide whether we want it to be, you know, that same same thing mm -hmm. or whatever. All right, so we just change the snare up a little bit. Let's get the fit. I like the higher, that seems to give off the right, 
Now this one just makes it sound stuffy, which is kind of nice. Let's give that a little bit of volume, velocity. Feels good. I think, I don't know, I feel like we're lost a little bit of balls on that. I think when the turnover happens, maybe something like a little, just to be like an eerie, uh, I don't know, like a choir pad or something. You know how I like to do? Like, ah. Yeah. Oh. Say, ah. Oh. Yeah, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see if we can. So here's an old um, VST plugin called um, Alchemy. Alchemy is one of my personal favorites. And I think you can't get it anymore. Is that correct, Max? No. Sure. I think only the 32-bit uh, yeah. works. And it doesn't even have all the presets either. So, um, it's just cool. It's just a cool... It's got lots of neat presets already. I use it a lot. It's kind of a go-to for me, especially for, like, choirs and pads and stuff like that. So let's see what we got here. And uh, what key are we in? This um, bass is in A. So I just recorded something real quick there. We can obviously screw with it. I didn't like the first two keys of my second choice there, so I'm going to pull them out, grab that, and bring it over. And now let's, um, let's bring the whole everything closer to the beat. Closer to the beat. All right, let's just do it. Side chain over here. Uh, side chaining is when you duck stuff under the beat or, or under whatever it is you're side chaining to. So we want that kick. Boom, 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 boom. We want to watch. Alright, that's cool. So let's see. You hear how it goes. Uh, uh, uh. So that's the result of putting the side chain. We're asking this uh, kick over here to, to come through and duck. Are those right? Those keys? Uh, uh, the, the, the lowest one, maybe just take off. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, totally. Uh, what is... What if you added that to the next chord to make it?
that that little little bit of pads and a little bit of a choir really softens things up and also gives it um, kind of a I don't know religious sound or like a well it it amplifies your imagination to what you're thinking about when you listen to it it's not just like bass and drums now it's become like a a scene yeah, kind, multi layered you know? and yeah. stuff yeah so. Just uh, beefed the volume up a little bit on the choir, just so it's. See how the it, how its threshold is way down here. You, know, you don't you don't want it to be all. That's with no compression. With some compression, you add the threshold, you grab the threshold, and it and it, it brings it up to the output. The makeup is on, so you're you're kind of bringing more to the signal, mm -hmm. uh, rather than if you had it off, you'd be using it as a limiter. Mm-hmm. No, so yeah, this kind of boosts it up a little bit. It won't go above zero decibels. You know, it's 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 not adding or taking anything away. It's just uh, pulling the threshold up to zero. Right. And then uh, this is linear editing, like I said. So we put that in front of the side chain because we want the volume out of it, but we want in the end the side chain to be the last thing that's happening. So that gives it that pulse. <laughs> So that's cool. So part of the original idea that I recorded was this uh, funky pulse bass, which is a very smoking with strangers thing. Um, we like to pulse and we like to reverb that pulse. How about when that comes in, it stays on that uh, the for the alchemy, it stays on that chord the entire. Like that's when the song gets started. Like we add in like hi hat. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I agree. Yeah. So maybe have that like back to where it was. And then we can keep on adding the alchemy, like make it yeah for sure right, bigger and bigger and bigger, and then da -da -da. before that comes in, yeah. yeah. So um, Matt, basically Max is saying he wants this to be like a high point, and we and we will, so we'll drag it later in time. But uh, part of the original idea was this pulse, um, this so something that Smoking with Strangers has already done, like in the same, and then a couple other times is to add a lot of reverb to a, a plucky instrument. You take some of the bass out of that that reverb, so it doesn't repeat that. It doesn't uh, pop the bass out. You don't want a rumbling across reverb, um, and that's a really cool thing. So we're gonna wait for that to come in till a little bit later, and um, in the meantime, we're gonna build it up with this uh, alchemy. So you're saying keep one one of those notes in alchemy. The, that first chord. The first just chord. Let it extend. Okay. Let's not make it come in until 17 instead of, uh, you know, 16 measures in. Okay. So if you hit um, Control J, you get a consolidation. And then you can hit Loop and you can loop that section. Max wants to loop the first chord first. So we're going to bring the loop section down to just the four measures. And it's going to loop just that chord. Okay. And we're probably also going to That's a little trick that you do to create some energy build. Um, start your filter where you want it and end it where you want it to, to come in. So.
structure I'm going to do. I just wanted you to see there that that's what Max was talking about. Let's let's use this one chord to kind of build from, right? And then once we get into the track, once we've established that those are the keys, then we'll open up that phrase again um, to now get these two. reason for that pluck there's a reason for it to happen um, and that's that's important when you're building a track so it's funny it's like we're building this but we're also kind of giving a tutorial <laughs> we should just build it yeah I mean we can just do a couple things and then explain what we did yeah all right so it. I'm gonna switch seats with Max and let him get here in the, the control seat and uh, we're just gonna make a couple things and then we'll come and talk about what we did for a second and then we'll come back oh i didn't realize it wasn't even muted yet it's cool uh we'll come back in about three minutes to explain the changes that we made
It's here. Uh, have to turn the bass down a little bit because it's apparently shaking the whole apartment Sorry. complex. The dog started barking. <laughs> They're like barking to the beat. Like, woo, woo, woo. Thanks guys for tuning in. Uh, this is Jay Sustain speaking off camera. Um, Max is here behind the wheel right now. How y'all doing? You can kind of see us over there. And uh, uh oh, uh, I know, isn't that crazy? Now hit transition. Is my face. There you go. Wow. How you doing? Lots of buttons to push. Jason staying here, fully maxed. We're smoking with strangers. We're doing a live stream right now, and uh, we decided that we would open up a track that had 16 measures worth of something happening in it, and uh, turn it into a song right before your eyes. So we're. About 30 minutes into that right now. Looks yeah. like we have seven um, viewers steady, so that's cool. I mean, you know, people watching live, uh, that's awesome. Um, we'll answer your questions right here on Twitch. If you have any questions about Ableton Live or any questions about Fully Max or Jason Stain or Smoking with Strangers or any of the projects that we're involved in, now's the time to do it. And without further ado, let's get back into the productions. Transition. Boom. Oh. Yeah, and then hide that. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. True. Kaboosh! Meet it while we go. <laughs>
baseline. We've already got quite enough mid bass for the intro off of just this synth. This is a, this is, yeah the pulse. Uh, this is a sub under it, and we don't really need that if you're not gonna have much low end for the kick. So we'll fade that in actually. Some uh, additional percussion. It's feeling dope, man. Yeah, agreed. Um, let's see. Do you have any hi hats on this kit already? Um, I don't think so. I think it's, oh yeah, yeah. Sure enough, it's a coral. Wow. Right out of Ableton. Uh, well, um, but these are kind of like yeah, goofy ones. But you can change them. <laughs> like yeah, pick that. Uh, we're actually using that one, Snare, so pick yeah. that. Um, or go we back. just use this, this second layer to add in. No, go back to where it was. Yeah, grab one of those. Just in there. Yeah, that. And hit the round circle. There you go. And then now go. Uh, hat. Oh, yeah, there you go. And drag it. Or hit enter and then pull it into it. Close it. destroyed your ears there. DJ, but uh, I was maybe thinking instead of like a hi hat hit, like he was doing right there, maybe like a tambourine. You know how much I love a tambourine. Do you have a yeah? Where's so, your go to? Uh, go to Sample Canyon right there. Where you think? Yep. Yeah, this one. Uh, and then type in T A M B. And now, just pick one. Groove Garage. Uh, yeah, that one's got some good ones. Oh, oh no, Apple Loops very much now. And yeah, that's 110 too. I think this one's like... That's your tempo as well. Yeah. Oh. Oh, crap balls. So you're going to need to open a new track. Apple T-Balls. Howdy, Limelight, Texas. How we doing? Thanks for joining uh, our live stream here. This is Smoking with Strangers. We're doing a live, uh, making a track right now, a brand new song. Um, 
we had 16 measures at the beginning of this uh, set. And now we're we're into it, man. We're into it. It's a song now. What's the the shortcut for making them all? Um, well, hit uh, uh, Control A selects yeah. everything, and then Control U okay. turns it. However, you need to like open up the gate. There we go, like that. There you go. Cool. Otherwise, it tries to get finite. Mm. So there you go. And then, yeah, you might want to either do that or uh, complex. Yeah. And then that opens it all the way up, and then you can gate. Right. Yeah, yeah. That won't make a difference. Yeah. Much. You guys that are watching, um, you guys that are watching, let me know um, what you think the song should be called. Right now, we just have it called For the Children. But it certainly isn't going to be called for the children. Limelight. I worked for hours on my Everything But The Girl cover. Saved, closed, reopened, all gone. Oh. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, bro. Sorry, man. Well, you know what they say. Second, third, fourth, fifth time is the charm. <laughs> so, uh... That happened the other day. I was working on some vocals and... Something happened where my Ableton just went ah and then closed. They didn't even give me a warning that it froze. So and then they didn't even give me the option to recover. So I was like, well, oh so God. much for that. Just gotta redo it. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes good comes out of that. Yeah. Like, you know, we we did a, a Gary Newman track and then we sent it via Splice, and for whatever reason, Splice like retime. I I don't know if it was Splice that did it, but like in in the process, basically, it like took all of the warp markers away from our drum kit and then made the drums just like <laughs> and I was like dude <laughs> and we had to redo the drums on that but in the end it sounded freaking great so I mean I don't know if redoing the drums had anything to do with it sounding great but it sounds great yeah so all's well that ends well and limelight I'm absolutely in love with everything but the girl so if you want to take another stab at that remix and send it to me I would absolutely love that I love me some EBTG uh, so I'm gonna try to re I almost want to get these seconds on quantizes as well because they're kind of like, <laughs> like okay kind of yeah so hit um apple one and yeah. that now adds a new gate and boom beautiful and then you know you can also use that groove over there to create swing if you want um that groove pool i don't know if ableton 10 has that do they uh groove pool yeah like did they get rid of it i don't know i never really used it Anyway, right. it's got you can add swing to the yeah, that's cool. You know, Let's we'll see what that sounds like. It's probably gonna be uh, hit yeah, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's gonna be weird. <laughs> but I mean, you see what it does. Yeah. sounding so it, this is this is it this is, <laughs> i'm loving the the choir it just makes it gives it that deviant like you know keeps it dark feeling for me and then also these pads give those uh transitions a little bit of purpose yeah i call them pads i should call them uh keys. is there a way to like control the volume on each one of these or not really 
on each individual item. So at 1%, you're getting like 100 dry wet. This? Yeah. You sure that's not like the, the pitch? Well, it's how much intensity. So like at 1, you're definitely getting a seventh, right? But at 0.5, you're getting... You're getting... Like zero and a seven. And at 2.0, you're getting double. Okay, so it is volume. Yeah. I thought it was like uh, fine pitch. I would call it attenuation. <laughs> okay. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I know it does look like a fine pitch. Midnight. Midnight is my cat, and she loves to just walk all over everybody. She actually has a crush on Max. Every time Max comes over, she gets all up in it. Yeah. And this is how tracks happen too, by the way. Like the more I listen to this, and like the more it plays, I start thinking of vocals. I start thinking of things that would, you know compliment in there and you know honestly the hard part is determining what to do and what not to do sometimes you just want to grab a microphone and start going, you know, going ham on it but like i don't know i, I like the way this track is going and i, I feel like i'm just gonna stay off the mic oh i have an idea i love it when max says i have an idea <laughs> We need a. Uh, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> this kind of thing. Pew. Let's go to that. Pew 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 pew. I know, right? Snoop. to choose from. Max went for the ride thin synth. Let's see what we can do, ladies and gentlemen. He's uh, adding a uh, EQ in the chain so that it only affects this ride and not the instrument. Wow. Wow. Took all kinds of sound out of there. Left it with a... Uh, we're going to do a little... Uh... I hope you, I'm gonna like try to do all this before playing it. See if it comes out right. <laughs> do it from memory scratch. Oh, I didn't. What about that EQ at the end there? Um, the end of the chain. What's it doing? Oh, it's just for the beginning when it cuts out the oh, bass. Yeah, I see. Uh, and it's just slightly bringing down this super low, just by the Q, not really taking out. Uh, all right, baby. Let's pray that this sounds cool. Oh, we gotta get started from here. Oh, we're solo. <laughs> It is cool. But that, I, that symbol's not going to And work. the symbol's got to go. <laughs> we need Maybe a like a shh. Yeah, like shh. Maybe just like a white and, noise. And does it happen before the drop? Like, play it again, just that section. Oh. 
Oh. Yeah, I guess it does. Like. First and second kick. Or no, just first kick. Doom. It's a little busy. Yeah, too busy? Yeah. I like it just without the first two. No, no, uh. It speeds it up, like it makes it feel, you know. Yeah, I'm trying to go with two drummer on it. We gotta change the symbol too. Yeah, change that symbol. There weren't that many in that uh, library. Thank you guys for watching. I still see a set, steady uh, amount of watchers, and we appreciate that. Okay, Again, see. if you have any questions um, about Ableton Live, we'll be happy to answer that while we have this session open. Right now, we're just uh, working on a brand new track. If you have any thoughts about what this track should be called, let us know because right now it's called for the children <laughs> where are your uh, prime symbol samples my man sample canyon okay wait yeah, should i remember that for now on and then yeah um you can either type in i need symbol. one that's like really grand like you know, i would you know, say like... go into <laughs> I was gonna say that it was perfect actually. Um, this one right here, I drum, has some really good. Those hats or symbols, or do they have symbols? Um, I don't oh, think they, they have, have symbols. symbols. Okay, so then let's just type in sim symbol, and then here's a. I see double drums is good. Oh yeah, 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 something like that. We could just turn it up and uh, EQ it a little bit. What was it, double drum? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think you just, I just <laughs> play it all in cymbals, huh? I just replaced, yeah. So it's this right here we need to replace. You can turn the dry wet, you wanna? No, mm -hmm. no, you just. And turn the volume up on that. thing from the top just here just feel feel what it feels like. spent uh, basically like almost an hour on this track I see we're right at 50 minutes this has already created some structure for the beginning of it and uh, really got the EQs going for the uh, drum kit this is the uh, expandy yeah he's playing dynamic compression over here
Do you have a pitch bend? Okay, no, we haven't done any of that lately. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a drop. Make a mew. I didn't really hear it. Yeah. Maybe like bend on the way on the first one coming in. Boo. It feels like a little clippy, like. Oh, that's the side chain you hear. <laughs> Look at this dude out here with his basket and his like 80 bags. I see him just in the reflection of the TV. It's oh, crazy. oh, oh! Wow, man, it's crazy. I'll tell you what. I've, I've, you know, I've never seen the streets of of Dallas or pretty much any major city the way that they look now, and I've never seen the homeless population in such a state of bewilderment. Uh, they're literally walking around just aimlessly because there's there's no one to panhandle from, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little sad, uh, but more or less it, to me, it's it's just a scary state of affairs that you know because of what's going on. But it's definitely interesting to see these people just wandering around. Uh, what do you do when you're <laughs> other people? <laughs> I guess the bars feel the same way, bars and gyms, they feel the same way, you know. Anyway. So I'm just doing a little EQ on the uh, synth here that starts, this one right here. There's a little uh, too much in the lower frequency, so I uh, just changed the sides to not have as much and then brought up a lot of the really crisp end. <laughs> I like that, and I like the way the choir ends too for that second. Line. Oh, they they could even end earlier, actually, so that it goes, ah, oh, oh, you know. Check this out. Can you please remember what you just said? I mm -hmm. got the idea. Yeah. Oh, no, we want alchemy. I guess we can do post mixer. It's down. Here. It's down fourteen decibels, so probably post effects. I'm just going to do something real quick. Oh, we don't want... You should have got it with the revert, with the reverb tail, though, going... Oh. Check it out. Hang on. Before, before I uh, hurt your feelings... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is this looping, by the way? Looping. Yeah. Yeah, it is. But you can, yeah, and just eek. Oh. Oh. Limelight says out in the suburbs, they're still on all four corners. Yeah. Wow. It's not surprising. I mean, you know, it's like obviously they're in need too, and even more so now. Uh, it's just, it's so weird, man. It's, it's just weird. I walked around Deep Ellum the other day and I saw like wood boarding up the windows and I, I've never seen that. I mean, I'm from New Orleans. We see that during hurricanes, but uh, in Deep Ellum, like 
bars with their board like that, and that's just weird. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, I see what you're doing there, you reverse donkey man. Donkey. <laughs> that was cool, actually. Yeah. I like that. Some, uh, ping pong or something like. Yeah, check this out. Good man. I don't know if you guys saw that right there, but Max just basically like uh, pulled a piece of the choir down, faded it up, gave it some auto panning, and automated a um, a panning feature where it went -da 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 into, the, into the choir. Anyway, it just feels really good. It just turned over. gives emphasis to the drop right there you know that that kind of it tells the person that hey here's the go boom yeah i'm gonna do something to the uh pulse uh so it to uh there's something you were gonna say before that you had uh yeah but your idea kind of superseded it let me let me just yeah. jump in there and do the something glitch drums, what you said? well um one of the comments here limelight said uh some glitch drums would be cool right before that yeah transition mm -hmm. so i'm gonna do kind of what you did i'm gonna sample a piece of the the choir right there so let's just grab them um, there's not a reverb on there, so let me just add one for now. And make it all heavy. And go like this. <laughs> What I basically did was just grab the little tiny section. I needed to do it post effects and not post mixer, so let's try it again. <laughs> Alright, so basically that's all I wanted was this little section here at the end where it reverbed out. So now what I do with that little reverbed out section is reverse it. Okay, and now you get a... Um, so that's a neat thing. That's what I was going to do before uh, Max did his totally awesome drop thing. So let's see. I do this a lot with vocals. Right before vocals come in, I like to uh, reverse the last reverbed thing um, into the beat. So here we go. Something like that. So let's um, put a little bit of we'll smack more reverb on there and change it to right there so that it, it kind of happens in on the beat. So I'm going to 
a little tiny bit of reverb and then we'll kill the reverb right after the so it's like all right so let's actually pull that in a little bit or extend the sample oh that's the end of the sample let's extend the sample this way then and make it kind of go you know i want it to stay all the way until the very beginning of the so let's hear it okay so just a reverse build into that choir On just a sec, I think someone's knocking on my door. Go ahead, you can open it. Is there a knocking on my door? Oh, cookies? Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. My neighbor just brought me cookies. Heck yeah. I would have never heard that, by the way, that door knock, so I'm glad you just happened to be standing. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you were over there. Cool. My neighbor just brought me some cookies. That is awesome. You can have one, by the way. Unas galletas. Yeah. He's an awesome neighbor, man. He brought some cookies last time. Yeah, every time I've seen him, he's <clears> been <throat> super polite. So basically, just like I did with the reverse vocals on break, I, I did this little, like, right? To come in, you know, while you were gone. So this is what it sounds like. I also did it over here, like where it, it picks up and the filter changes. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. It is. I'll probably yeah. Know. I don't know. I mean, it sounded cool, so. effects no none of those are good let's go visit my man Sasha he always has something good to say Warped. 
Let me just talk real quickly about samples. So I've been collecting for probably 20 years, and um, I haven't had any catastrophic uh, failures, knock on wood, um, but I've also had a lot of backups. I did have one laptop that was completely stolen, um, and that was back in the early years. Uh, and then um, I did have a, a, a hard drive fail, um, and I lost some things there, but fortunately they were all backed up. Was but, that that uh, CDJ electricity? Mm -hmm. No, it just, it, it like, it came on, but every time I would try to open it, it would just spin the thing. Like, uh, it, it could never find the data. And I sent it to a friend of mine, and he was like, oh, yeah, I can extract it. I can extract anything. And then he called me. He was like, bro, this thing is fried. Um, what's it saying? Same. I have uh, cried many times. Yeah, I mean, it, it does happen. The best thing that you can do is, you know, always, one, hit save. Two, collect all and save so that you're collecting the samples within your file. And then three, when you're done with all that crap, go over here, find your, your Ableton file, wherever it is you're storing it at, and move it over onto another hard drive. So that if for whatever reason you fail, every, you know, we crash today, we can take this hard drive to another computer and open it up and just be back on track. So I encourage backups. I try to do it once a week. I mean, I don't, yeah. I don't like say, hey, it's backup day, but I try to go, you know, at least once a week and say, hey, I've had enough of this crap on my desktop. Let's move it over to an external hard drive. Uh, but fortunately, my Sample Canyon has stayed around for a long time. This thing called Song Parts is actually song parts, like parts to other songs, like stems and stuff like that. So if I ever want to go and remix something, here's a great place to start. But this Sample Canyon has 20 years worth of stuff. And I've said it before, and I'll say it again, and I feel the same way with video, and I feel the same way with um, any other type of editing, that your end product is only as good as the content that you have to work with. So if you have crappy free samples from GarageBand, not to say that all of them are crappy, but a lot of them are, um, and you, you just don't buy samples or you don't acquire samples from professional places, your songs are going to sound crappy, especially if you like to use samples. You can't use all the free stuff. You've got to branch out a little bit and yeah, acquire. It's kind of, it's kind of like the, the phrase, you get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. Or, you know, if you're one of these audiophiles that wants to spend hours making your own thing, I'm all for that too. Let's take this little ride synth here and let's take this 707 and, you know, let's go over here and grab this effects hit too and do that. And, you know, now I'm this guy, you know, that, oh, wow, I have my own thing. I, I'm, I, I think you should do that. But a lot of people don't have time. And so they will use samples, which I do not look down upon. But your samples have to be good uh, if you're going to use them. Um, I've paid good money for mine. I've had people share with me. Uh, and then I do. I make my own as well. Um, so I just went off on a sample tangent. <laughs> but uh, DJ Sasha released the Sasha Sample Essentials a few years ago. And there's some really great stuff in there. Um, a lot of them are glitch-based. And uh, I love them for that reason. But uh, they're cool. <laughs> So that, that's good enough. It, it definitely has some frequencies that we don't want in there. I guarantee it. Oh, yeah. Look at all that low end. So when you get that, you just kind of boop, 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 boop. There you go. That's all we really want out of it anyway. Maybe some reverb. Yeah. 
make it feel all special and shiny. Turn that chorus off. Yeah. And as you can see, it's starting just a millisecond before the beat. Yeah, that's good. And here we have a reversing. Maybe let's pull out serum and let's find something that's nice and uh, maybe a sequencer pad, something that gives it some a little bit of energy. Maybe not that much, but. Loops. I don't want it to feel like you know. Yeah, you said fast. You're good. Pick two of the three. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong, you know. And and you know, I know a lot of guys that are like, oh, I don't ever use the sample snare. I always use, you know, my friend Lewis from New York, like he does not use any samples. Um, he will like multi-layer, you know, seven snares and get his own like, Ksh! and yeah. he's like, that's mine. And I'm like, okay, you know, and that's that's cool too. But I feel like grabbing a sample and then, you know, EQing it or compressing it is kind of the same thing. You're, you're just taking an audio noise and, and making it your own. Anyway, I'm not a judgmental producer. I don't really look down on people's processes. Um, I've made songs off of an arpeggiator and a garage band sample and got paid to do so. So I don't really judge other people's means or methods. <laughs> Kind of playing with the synth there. What were you saying? Uh, right as it was going to go to the next section, that yeah. should be the next point of the song. I feel like the the bass should go to a lower note, like do 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 do, do. kind of a thing. Well, you can keep it where it is, but then like each each four beats. Oh, I see what you're saying. Right. Doom, 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 doom. Or the first one, that note, and the next one. Duh. Go two more now. And the next four is two down. And then one, maybe. Lots of sirens out here in the big city of Dallas. All right, let's see what it sounds like. Yeah, it feels dumb. 
dope. Alright, let's let's check it. Let's also bring back the uh, energy, which would be these hi hats and these little plinkety turnovers. Alright, so Max is gonna have to leave here in just a minute. Uh, we're at about 10 till 6. So I'm going to just uh, play this little section and then play it all the way through and then we're going to wrap it up. So, um save and uh, yeah. Max you give it just a couple seconds here in the driver's seat uh -huh. I'm gonna use the restroom and then we'll play it all the way through and then we'll wrap it up cool give it like five minutes I'm just share this to my man Francisco let me try to get some uh... oh There we go. What is it? What's up, everybody? Good to see you tuning in. Just get right at it. Midnight hitting the window. No, no, no. Take it easy, Limelight Texas. Thank you for uh, joining and watching. Appreciate yeah, your com man. comments and everything, brother. Fewer of the day. Yeah, fewer of the day. Watching us live. Thank you for doing that. Uh, if you have uh, any theories about what you think this uh, song should be called, let us know. Right now, it's just called For the Children. It's not going to be called that. We're making something great. Thank you, brother. You be safe and clean too, man. Appreciate your uh, support. Very much so. Ah, uh, you can't just do. Good man, yeah. from 16 measures. Oh, yeah, I see what you okay. I'll just have to repeat these. section I think okay yeah I think so too I noticed that when the it felt a little flat like um, maybe we could go and oh. 
One of those could go a fifth higher. This live session. Make sure you collect all and um, save for us. Yeah, I'm gonna collect collect all and save. Right? And that, that pulls in all the samples and all the presets, everything that we did, and it kind of captures it right here in this thing. So uh thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um this was the beginning of a new song. And then also I think we showed you uh what we did on Break, which is a brand new song that's slated for our album. We'd actually like to put an album out in August of this year, is what we talked about. So at first we were like, hey, let's overshoot it and go for November. But the more we thought about it, we'd really like to go early and do August. Now, all of that is dependent on whether the world reopens again. Yeah. Right? Because, I mean, by August we might all be, I don't know, standing in line at a concentration camp or something terrible. God, that was dark. I was get. I know, I get dark quick. Um, maybe maybe it won't be that bad. Um, I, I actually have high hopes. I told Max that I'm just going to plan for this like there's nothing wrong. Like we're going to be playing festivals in August, and we're going to uh, we're going to you know just plan for the best. Um, but if it doesn't get well, I don't know what to say. I'm not going to ponder on it. Nah, just keep yeah. on. Yeah, keep on making our on. craft. Yeah. And, uh, enjoying yourself while you can yeah so like i said earlier we already have 12 tracks we could release an album tomorrow but we're we're all about the technicalities of it we really want it to be great and as you can see we haven't stopped writing music yet um we just wrote a brand new song but now we have to consider whether this song goes on the album or not so um anyway at some point we're going to cut it off and uh and just focus strictly on the album and getting it done uh we got break done i'm pretty sure today and uh we even let the public we let you hear it and so we really hope you enjoyed that. Um, is there anything else you want to say, Max, before I sign off? Wow. Thank you so much, everybody. It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Jay Sustain. This is Fully Maxed. And uh, this is a Smoking with Strangers live stream. Follow us, share, like, comment, do all that stuff, and uh, watch for the next one. Thank you. Oh my